now we're in the, uh, the countryside. We are actually in the middle of nature here in, yeah, right. in the spider's web, we call it. <laughs> we, we named it. But um, I used to live in Copenhagen, uh, of course, with a lot of people. But I, was, I have always lived in nature. And then I had seven years in Copenhagen before my energy body and everything just said, get out of here, you know, get out of here very fast. And it's funny because here in the countryside, everything can, you, you know, it doesn't take a lot. All the help comes and people are friendly and they will help each other and so, but it was a completely other atmosphere in the cities because the nature is so far away. Everything is on, you know, there's stones all over you, you cannot no. hardly see any trees anymore in the cities. So it's, it's really, the love energy is, is very more easy to find in nature, but people need to find the nature within. Uh, if they just would use the forest more and, you know, hug a tree, go out and just be with nature, be with animals, just skip the computers, skip the television, and be more true. Because all people, they know this. We have it all inside. We know what we want. We also know what make, makes us feel good. But we often, we often do the opposite things. Well, maybe that's the, the reason why in, in Russia and Scandinavia, many people who, who can afford it, they want to have a summer place. It can be very primitive. No, 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 you know, flush toilets or anything, no electricity. But they have a little bit of land around, a forest or something, a pond. They have the birds, they have the, the deer, whatever. And, and they can work and feel the earth with their hands and with their feet. I mean, there has to be a reason why we go from cities with beautiful apartments, maybe, to a primitive little cottage in the country. And what we do there, I just read that um, that the former former president of, of Russia, Brezhnev, had had a, a little dacha, and what he was doing there. So he was, you know, planting potatoes and radishes and whatever. You wouldn't think that a president is doing things like that. Well, he needed that. We all need that, and I think that's what we we should sort of remember to go. And and of course, there are people more and more waking up and going to the nature. And then some go to the whole extreme, you know, they, they sort of go into the holes in the, in the mountains and they sit there and they meditate, that's fine. Because of course their energy helps a lot too. But it uh, sounds a little bit strange for normal working people that, uh, that somebody can go to, to, a, to a forest and live there by himself for years. Well, that was his mission. That was his mission to do that and send the love energy to all of us. And we all have a mission. And I think as long as we don't find out what our mission is, we don't feel it, that I'm doing the right thing. You know, you're searching. And when you're searching, you're a bit insecure. And then when you find, this is what I need to do, this is what I like to do, this is what I can do also to help other people. And of course that is the basis that we need to help each other. When you help somebody, somebody helps you. And, and until this attitude comes through in all classes of, of, of society, well, we need a change. We are not there now, but we will go there, definitely. Yes, we will, that's for sure. Uh, in, uh, within the last week, I have talked to uh, uh, several people, but I've talked to a man in Copenhagen and a woman who lives uh, close by here, the, the woman who has been treating with these uh, singing bowls. And the man in Copenhagen, he said, uh, he got a device and then he said, oh, immediately I started to feel happy, I started to feel joy. And the woman told me, she went into the uh, town nearby here and she said when she came there, she immediately started to feel sad and depressed. And you and I have talked a lot about uh, mobile phones, about radiation, about what the mind suffers from all these things. Yeah. Then I found out I was reaching the French professor Santini, he's not m anymore in this dimension, but he made a study where he found out that the libido, uh, the life force or the love force is being lowered in men and women by the electrosmog, by the electromagnetic radiation. And Years ago, I asked, I ask, you know, like you say, you, you mm. put out a question and the answer comes. I asked what was going on with me when I went to Copenhagen and the answer came several months afterwards that God force is being shut down. 
So that is what's happening with me when I go to Copenhagen, due to the electrosmog, due to all the different kinds of energies there. And, you know, when we're talking about love, you know, then I would say that actually, you know, electrosmog and the wireless society is anti-love. Definitely. That's the biggest problem we're going to have and we already have in the world. Um, I mean, we're talking about atom bombs or something, which are, of course, bad too, but they haven't been used for 60 years. So why don't the authorities talk about the electrosmog, the danger of electromagnetic fields, and especially they are in the cities. I know also of, of um, research when people are going, scientists are going and, 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 and measuring the microwaves and, and uh, electromagnetic fields in the cities and they are just, you know, they are so red, quote, quote, that people should not be there. And especially they put them at nights in residential areas through the new, new lamps which have different frequencies to cause different kinds of emotional outbursts, if, if I can say that. Mm -hmm. So they are governing people today with electromagnetic fields. And, and that is not positive. So I wondered, because we do need electricity normally, would it be a world that wouldn't have it? Someday if you know everything goes, electri electronic uh, devices go kaput all over the world, what will happen? Maybe this Icelandic eruption of the volcano and, and the simultaneous Chinese uh, earthquake and Haiti, Chile, which have been recently, maybe they are sort of forerunners to show what can be happening here. Because now we can't fly, now there's trouble all over where the Icelandic ashes are coming. It shows what can happen when either nature or man-made catastrophe, which it also could be, is causing to us. And now we can't go out, so people are in, in a way that's good because then we sit next to each other and we talk instead of going there and there and there because you can't uh, you can't travel so there are always good things in the bad things too but um, it's part of the change and I do hope the good things will come up further and more and more and more and it needs that the awakening the mass awakening of all the people and it's happening it is already happening but uh, it needs to be happening even more. But, you know, I've been studying all this about electromagnetic and electrosmart because I, I feel it. You know, I, I don't know all the scientific facts because I feel it. I, I don't have to. I, I feel it yeah, exactly feel what it things well. are yeah. and I can feel it in my brain what's happening. I know what's happening in my brain. And what I spend most of my time is actually to, to have my clear connection to my spirit or my light body or whatever, you know, to, to have the clear resonance field and I can feel what happens in the resonant field. And what I find is very sad is that, you know, when you s observe people, you study people, you see how, uh, according to when the electrons mark have really risen and everyone has got a mobile phone, I sense that they become more and more disconnected from the spirit, from their true self, from love, right. from from ethics, from morality, from conscience, from crea creativity, all what is really part of creation, part of, you know, wow, this is enthusiasm. What is enthusiasm? Enthusiasm comes from an plus theos, that means God within, or in God, or possessed by God. And you know how many people are enthusiastic today? No. Because we are disconnected. So we cannot feel it. We don't feel the impulses when they come. This is what I feel the most sad, and especially you know when they give children mobile phones. Oh yeah, that's that's criminal actually, because um, authorities do not give the the correct information that it is really dangerous. It changes your DNA even. It changes your genes, and 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 it causes brain tumors. Now, why would any parent give a weapon? microwave weapon to their child to be destroyed if the parent would know what it is. But uh, those who make them, they only think of money. And those who are in the supreme elite, if I can call that, they want people eliminated. So for them, the more victims we have for microwave radiation with mobile phones, the better it is for them and the worse it is for the mankind. That has to stop. 
Uh, I was in a conference of non-lethal weapons in, in Germany 2009 in, in May and uh, somebody said uh, uh, an interesting uh, sentence that those who are manufacturing these gadgets 